Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest. Now, head over to my website, boxingego.com. Link to the article is in the description. I want to talk about the truth, Errol Spence Jr. Now, obviously, there's a big fight coming up, and I want to talk about what he said in a recent interview. May 27th, Bramall Lane, where Kell Brook is from, Sheffield, UK. It goes down. And you see him, two massive size, big welterweights. This is a great fight for the welterweight division. To me, whoever wins this, be it Kell Brook, be it Errol Spence, to me, I think they're the guys to beat at, at welterweight. But you guys seen the title. Errol Spence Jr. says Keith Thurman is number one over Pacquiao, and he reveals his Kell Brook prep. Right? And shout out to On The Ropes Boxing Radio. This is what Keith was said about Keith Thurman by Errol Spence. Keith Thurman has the momentum. He just came off the win over Sean Porter and Danny Garcia. He has the momentum, I think. He's probably number one rated welterweight in the division right now, and I think Manny Pacquiao's after him. So he, in his opinion, he puts Keith Thurman at the moment as the number one. And this is also a link, this red hyperlink, so you can click it and it'll take you right to the interview where he said this. So again, shout out to On The Ropes. And he believes that Keith Thurman is the guy to beat right now. Obviously, if he beats Kell Brook, it's, it's gonna be a matter of opinion. Keith Thurman has more belts. Definitely, he ramped up his competition level, fighting the likes of Sean Porter, winning that at the Barclays, and then also fighting against Danny Garcia and winning that at the Barclays. So you can make an argument where does Pacquiao fit in? See, this is why I don't do pound for pound list because Pacquiao obviously is a legendary fighter. He's going to be a Hall of Famer without a doubt, but he's now fighting Jeff Horn as a WBO champion, right? And he's been in the game so long, so that's why I don't like pound for pound list. So would you say Pacquiao because of his complete body of work? Would you put him over Keith Thurman or would you say Keith Thurman has the momentum like Errol Spence Jr., which he clearly does because he's still, he's not fighting guys like Jesse Vargas, you know what I mean, who weren't nothing, no shade to Vargas, but he wasn't a certified, proven welterweight, you know what I mean, he beat Saddam Ali, that was a good win for his career, then he kind of sat on the shelf, and then he fought against Pacquiao, and then came up short, got knocked down, but Keith Thurman, he's going for his, and he, he's fighting Sean Porter, who just beat Berto in the Eliminator, to possibly get a, a Thurman rematch, so it's a bit different, and Arrow also said this regarding his, his fight and his training. Everything is good. Preparations are going great. I've been training for about three or four months now. I'm in great shape. I'm already on weight and I can't wait to fight. I definitely think the time is right. I'm 27 years old. I'm in my prime and I've been waiting for a long time now and it's finally happening. I can't wait. I think he, Kell Brook, has a good jab, a good one-two. They were asking him, what does Brook do well? He says, I think Kell Brook has a good jab, a good one-two. He tries to create distance. He comes to fight and shows a lot of heart in his fights. That's coming from Errol Spence Jr. I want to know from you guys what you think. This, again, is, is a good fight. I don't know how what the numbers will be. It's going to be on Showtime. It'll be on Sky Sports. But I talked to Jamel Charlo when I was in New York for Berto Porter Week covering that as media and he he vouches for Errol Spence he says I'm a junior I'm a big guy basically I'm a, a junior middleweight and he and Errol Spence we went to war and he definitely holds his own and I talked to his trainer that's this link right here Derek James he even mentioned that he used to spar with Errol Spence and he's seen the talent for a long time so I can't wait for this Kell Brook also a great fighter Kell Brook in my opinion, exposed vulnerabilities with Gennady Golovkin. Obviously, he came up short, got stopped, so people are going to take it for what it is. But based on the fact that it was a welterweight, his first fight, okay, you can say he's a big welterweight, and he ate up to get to middleweight, bottom line. He even said that in his, his pre-fight stuff. He said, oh, I'm eating whatever I want, and that doesn't make you that size naturally and people don't understand and can't grasp it they're like oh he outweighed him i don't care what he outweighed in 30 days you know what i mean 
it just that doesn't matter like I could eat up and just eat crazy and then outweigh Arnold Schwarzenegger or something but that doesn't mean I'm stronger than him because I what I did to to get up and weight and bulk up is not the same as as his training regimen and stuff like that so it's a bit different but nonetheless Kill Brooks the IBF champion this is a great fight great fight for boxing I want to know what you guys think is Keith Thurman the number one would you rate him over Pacquiao if you're doing a pound for pound list and then drop your fight predictions for this fight right here May 27th Bramble Lane and that's Kell Brook basically realistically versus Errol Spence Jr. the truth is it going to be man down or is it chocolate brownie drop that in the comment section make sure you share the video like the video as always hate comment and subscribe till next video is Ego signing off